Hey you guys, so today I'm just going to make some kutilks. Um, I'm going to do some yet tarshike, some yet spi, some yet sur, and some of the dawin ones. And here I have my um, stuff for the dough. I have a burgul, which is crack wheat, semolina, salt, that's for the dough. And I already did my mixture. It's beef, parsley, onions, and lots of spices. I already have videos on how to make it in details. Okay, I have mixed them together, the semolina and crack wheat together. One of each, like, um, it was three of the semolina and three of the crack wheat. Now I'm going to add salt, about one tablespoon, and I'm going to add water to it. Hot water. You want to add enough water to, okay, you want to add enough water for your mixture to be really, really moist and watery, just like this, because it will soak up all that water. There you go. Just like that. Mix it. Mix everything. And leave it there for about 20 minutes. Cover it and leave it there for 20 minutes. I have transferred my dough into a large plate like this so I can start kneading the dough. I have water at hand. It's a little warm. I'm going to keep dipping my hands in there and kneading it until really smooth. Okay, you guys, I kneaded the dough and I rolled them all out into about one and a half to two inch bowls, depending on how, what size you want it. You want it larger, make the bowls larger. And I have my pima over here that's cold and ready to go. And I have water at hand again. And I'm going to start making the kutilks. Let's do one. I'm going to... Do one slow and the rest I'm gonna time lapse. You hollow out the middle just like that. Put your filling inside. Push it down. Close the top. Water again and make your shape. And that's it. Okay, so for the sauce for Kotelke um, Dawine, I have two cups of uh, moss over here. I'm going to add one teaspoon of cornstarch in there. And I'm going to add cold water to it. And this was about six cups. And I'm going to smooth it out. Smooth it really well before you put it on the heat. Make sure it's smooth out like dough. Okay, I'm going to add one more cup of water to it because I want it to be thin. 
not too thick of a sauce here it is all smoothed out just like that and now i'm gonna put it on the heat and i'm doing the smallest batch of the kutilks kutilke dawine because nobody in my family eats it except for me i'm the only one that's going to be eating these and i'm also going to be adding chickpeas to it fresh mint and fresh thyme if you don't have it fresh you can use dried okay i put my pot on the stove and i'm gonna stir it until it comes to a boil you have to keep stirring it until it comes to a full boil then i'm gonna add the rest of the stuff in there and salt i haven't added salt yet okay keep stirring like i said i've been stirring all this time non-stop because i don't want it to separate i don't want the moss and the water to separate and get all clumpy so it's still not at a full boil once it starts uh boiling then i'm gonna add my the rest of the stuff okay now it's at a full boil i'm going to add my chickpeas salt about one tablespoon and taste it if it needs more salt add more salt and then i'm gonna throw in the kutils just like that Okay, after all the kutilks go in, just stir it around like that so they don't get stuck together and let it boil. And last, I'm gonna add mint, the fresh mint and the thyme. And I'm gonna mix this with it and let the kutilks cook. You'll know when they're done once all the kutilks float to the top. As soon as they float to the top, that means they're done. So it should take about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, here it is. They're all done. All the kutilks are floating to the top. That means they're done. You can cut one open if you're not sure and taste it. But this is what the sauce looks like. Smooth. And it tastes really good. I'm gonna turn off the stove. And I did make a small batch of the Dewin ones because I'm going to be the only one to eat them. My husband likes the white ones, the Tarshik ones. So I made this for him. And this is what they look like. And I made the red ones for my son. He likes the red ones.